today we're gonna be raising hell and we're gonna make a doom inspired lead sound and it's gonna sound like this The technique that I'm gonna use with the filter and the distortion is a really, really well-known technique in the dark electro scene, dark synth, and the electro-industrial scene also. So make sure to try it and make it your own. Let's do this. Let's go. I have a riff here that I already started. Let's have a listen. So first of all, we're going to go to the oscillator A section and we're going to choose the basic shapes and our trusty sawtooth wave. First, what we're going to do is we're going to use the unison section, but I don't want my sound to be wide because my mix is already wide. It's already full left and right. I want my lead to be dead center so we're gonna go to the global section and we're gonna turn down the width to zero then we're gonna go to our oscillator section and we're gonna turn it up uh, to uh, seven i want my lead to be really detuned so i'm gonna turn it up right about there Then the trick, like really the, the, the main part of that sound is the filter section with combined with the distortion. So we're gonna put a filter, turn up the drive. Then I'm gonna go to the FX section and I'm gonna put a distortion. It's really, really uh, important to have my distortion after my filter because I want the distortion to, to be on top of my sound. Then we're going to turn up the drive knob until we start to hear the distortion. Next, I'm going to put a compressor to like keep control of my uh, signal. I want it to be more audible in the mix, so I'm going to add another um, oscillator, but this time I'm going to put it one octave higher and I'm going to do the same settings. Then I'm gonna add an hyper right before the distortion just to create like an effect of wideness, but not too much because my, as I said earlier, my mix is already really full. Then we're gonna add an EQ right after the distortion, like the order of the, the, the FXs are really important. So I'm gonna add an EQ after the distortion to clean up the low end because the distortion created some unwanted frequencies in the low end. Then the last step just before uh, putting like delay and reverb, we're gonna make it mono and we're gonna add some portamento. Just like that. Then we're gonna go to the FX section and we're gonna add some delay and reverb just to like finish up our sound.
And that's pretty much it. You could add some more FXs if you want, like uh, phaser choruses right before the distortion is going like, to create movement. So let's have a listen to the final sound. All right, so now you're ready to create your very own Doom soundtrack and go shoot some demons. This type of sound can be used in many situations. It can be a lead, it can be a background sound, it can be an ambient sound. As I said earlier, experiment, make it your own, add FXs. That's how you create sounds. I'm just starting my channel, so if you want to support my work, subscribe. It really, really means the world to me. Also, if you want to use the Cubase template, the sounds, the MIDI files, it's going to be on my Patreon page. Let me know in the comment section what sounds you want me to make, what type of music you're into. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao.